In today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can set up your first Facebook ad, so be sure that you stay tuned. What's going on guys? Welcome to this channel. If it is your first time to my channel, consider subscribing. Um, also in the comment section below, let me know exactly what um, you know videos you want me to make in the future whether if there is any specific topic about Facebook ads you want me to cover or if there are other topics you guys want me to talk about as well. So in this video, um, I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how to create your first um, Facebook ad and it's going to be breaking down, you know, all the different tabs, you know, what you need to put where and how things are going to appear. Um, now I am going to have future videos that are going to be talking more in depth about how to create your Facebook, you know, account, your ads account, everything like that. But this is assuming that you already have a business account, you already have an ad account, and you're just a little confused about how to create your first ad. So number one is that you need to create a shell, an outer shell, which is the actual campaign, right? So with Facebook, there are three different levels. There is the campaign level, there is the ad set level, and then there is the ads level. So the campaigns is the whole campaign. So each one of those campaigns are, you know, is, is or each one of those tabs is one campaign, right? Now we're going to be talking about this cold audience. Now I spend about $300 a day. You don't have to start with that. You can start with as little as $10, $20, $30, depending on your budget. So talking about or looking at this specifically so this is the campaign this is called audience campaign right and this is how I you know create my campaigns now a lot of those I actually launched just um, two days ago or yesterday I believe um, you're gonna see that I have ad spend and I have you know cost per video and I'll explain exactly what my funnel is about but I don't have any money to be made from there because I don't make money on the ad or inside of the funnel I get people to actually schedule calls with me. Um, I don't want to go too much into my funnel and how it works. I'll have another video about that, but I just want to show you guys how these ads work. So number one, we have the campaign as we mentioned. So let's say you're starting with a fresh campaign and then inside of these campaigns, there are ad sets, right? Each ad set is one, um, it could be audience, it could be one ad copy, it could be whatever the case is, whatever you are trying to do. So let's say we're going to take one ad copy, and I'm going to show you guys how I personally go about it. So one ad set, right, or one ad copy is, let's say, this interview. So it's got one, two, three, four. So let's say if we only had these four right here. So it's the same ad, the same campaign, which is um, uh, the cold. It's the cold audience. And then inside of the campaign, you've got the ad sets. And then let's say we're only talking about these four right here. So the way I have them is that these ad sets, if I actually click on one of them, I just want to show you guys what this actually looks like. And bam. So this is what this ad actually looks like. Um, it talks about one of my students, you know, the entire Amazon marketplace is bombarded with fake gurus. And then it goes talking about, you know, how I have this, uh, uh, workshop that someone can actually go to and learn about selling on Amazon and then the copy or the 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 angle or the um, I mean the the you know the video is an actual interview that I had with one of my top students who went from 130 or 0 to 130,000 in under you know nine months so I talk about him here and this is the actual ad so going back inside of here going into my ad sets so once again, we have these four. So the way that I do it is that I am targeting four different audiences. And the way that I select my audience is I take my top, let's say, you know, my niche is e-commerce, right? And you got to think about, okay, so my niche is e-commerce. Where are these people hanging around? What are the things that they like, right? What are the things that they like the most? Um, and where are the, where where can I find them? So when you go to creating your ad set, these are the things that you have to have in your mind is that who am I going to be targeting, right? I mean, you can't exactly target people that, you know, sell on Amazon or whatever, which you probably can, but it, that's too too narrow. You need to make it as broad as possible. So when I so let's say we're going to be creating a new campaign. So let's actually let me show you guys how this is created. 
So when you go here, let's say these are not existent, yours is not, you know, it's not going to have any of this. So what you do is you go to creating a campaign, and this is how it's going to look like. So we're going to call it test one, right? Um, and then action, traffic, and then what we're going to do is we're just going to skip. We're going to skip add a skip ad set. We're just going to create a um, an ad or a campaign for right now, right? So that's all we're going to create. So we're going to do this, bam, and we're actually going to launch some ads today. So that's the pretty cool thing. So now if we go back to our campaigns, do you see how we have now a new campaign, right? Now if you click on it, there is nothing under it because it's brand new. We haven't created any ad sets or anything like that. Um, but it's a brand new campaign. You're going to see it says no deliver, you know, not delivering, and it's because there's nothing under it. Now, the next thing that you need to do is you need to create ad sets. Ad sets are what goes under the campaign, right? Ad sets are those, you know, you're going to use ad sets um, to create the audience, to create the angle, to create everything inside of the ad set, right? There are some things that you can control on the ad set level, and then other things that you can control on the, um, the ads level. So we're going to create an ad set, and let's say this is going to be, um, let's see here, which which uh, which one I want to, okay, so I'm going to call it, um, okay, so let's call it Zach Interview. So this is how I like to, um, you know, name my ad set, right? So Zach Interview, so the way I do it is, is the ad, so this is the ad, that's how I know my ads or my ads copy. I know it by Zach because it talks about Zach. And then what is the, this is the uh, the actual, not the copy, but the actual creative. And creative is either pictures or video, right? So it's an interview. And then I uh, I talk about, uh, or I write the the um, the audience, right? So I'm a target Jeff Bezos. And this is how I keep track of my stuff so it doesn't get lost, right? And then bam, and you're going to do skip ad because we just want to create the shells right now. And then review and publish. We're just going to wait for it to go do its, its thing. And then, nope, it's not what we want to do. So now, as you can see, now we have, if you go back to the campaign, now we have this, right? And then if you click under, we have this. We have the ad set. Now what we need to do is we need to set some parameters for this. So what we said is that we want to, um, you know, we want to target Jeff Bezos. So this, we're going to target everyone that likes Jeff Bezos, whether if it's, you know, their, their, um, his Facebook page or just people that have interest in Jeff Bezos, right? So a couple of things that you need to change here. Number one is the uh, uh, the uh, budget, the daily budget. How much you want to spend? I launch new ad sets with ten dollars a day only, right? And I see that this is gonna change per day. So this is your reach per day, right? So like if you go fifty, you know. And and the reason why I do that is because I like to launch ten to twenty new ad sets together and try different things and then scale those that are actually winning. Um, and uh, and that's why I start with ten dollars. Anything less than ten dollars, I don't see that it works for me. So I start with ten dollars, right? And then the other things that I'm gonna uh, uh, check on is that I'm not I'm not gonna I don't like to uh, put like end dates. I just let it run, and I'll just kill it or keep it running for whatever I need to. Uh, you're not gonna touch anything here. Then the audience. You want to keep your audience as high as possible, or I mean as broad as possible. Now, if you're you know targeting toys. You probably don't want to. Well, actually, if you're targeting toys, you probably don't want to target, you know, um, only kids because probably kids are not going to be the ones buying it. But if, let's say, if you're targeting, you know, uh, um, I don't know, maybe, I mean, once again, you got to understand your market, right? So the one thing with me um, that I've uh, learned is that targeting 18 to 65 brings me broke people. So that's why what I do is I like to bring this up to 25 and then I say you know what let me bring this down to 60 but you don't want to mess too much with it you want to make it a, you want to keep it as broad as possible and then you want to keep both all you know both genders unless if your product is specifically tailored to either male or female otherwise you know I would keep both genders um, another thing is the placement so 
I only like to, to advertise on Facebook. If you want to advertise on Instagram, on Story, all that stuff, cool. Otherwise, the way I do it is I only keep Facebook and I take all this out, right? Now, the other thing that's very important is the actual interest, is the targeting. Who are you going to be targeting? So we said we're going to be targeting Jeff Bezos. So this is how I do it. You see how it says interest? Bam. Did you see how Jeff Bezos has 4,300,042 uh, uh, people within that within the interest, right? And this is how I do my targeting, right? And then now what we're going to do is we're going to click publish. And then it will publish. So now if we close out of here, we're going to see that we have the campaign, which we said it was the 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 test. And then under it, we have this, and then we have all the parameters. Now it's time for us to actually create the ads. Now, when I create a picture ad, I like to do four different variations with four different pictures. If it's a, a, um, a video ad, I'll just do one video. But let's say you're only doing one ad under each interest or each uh, ad set. So the way you do it is you go to create. And by the way, Facebook has changed the way the, the, uh, the back end looks. It didn't look like that. It's a little different now. But uh, this is the, the latest version. So you go to create, and then now what you want to do is you want to name it. So let's say I'm going to call it uh, downtown. And I'm going to tell you guys why. No, actually, never mind. It's interview because we said it was uh, um, the interview for Zach. Because I'm going to be posting. So whatever the ad is going to be, right? If it's a picture, just call it something that you know. And this is all for internal use. You know, no one else has access to it. Now, these are, you know, these are a few things that you guys need to know. Number one is you need to select whether if it's going to be an image or a video slash slideshow. So because it's going to, mine is an interview, it's going to be a video. So I go to select video, and then it sh mine should already be in here. So this is my video right here. If yours, if let's say you're brand new, you're probably not going to have all this stuff saved. All you got to do is just go to upload and then just upload whatever you need. But mine, I know this is the video that I need, which is the, um, the actual interview. See so if you click it. What were you doing right before that? You know. Out on the lake, I'm a brand new boat, I just bought It'll show, and then these are all the different placements. So, well, this is uh, desktop. This is how it's going to show, you know. And then we're not done with it, but um, I'll, I'll show you guys exactly how it's going to look. So, a couple of things you guys need to know. So, number one, primary text. So, this is the actual ad copy. Like this is like this. So this is like this right here, right? This is the ad copy. This is that, right? So because so we're pretty much recreating this ads. So that's what what we're doing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here, copy, and then you need to have this somewhere saved, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and copy-paste this right here, right? So as you can see, bam, it's going to show right here. This is how it's going to show. Um, the next thing that is very important is the actual website URL. So like the URL, when they click on learn more and whatnot, that's where they're going to go. So for me, it's going to be, um, let me see here. It's going to be this right here, this link, right? So this is the website URL. Bam, right? And then the next thing is display link. So you see how right here it says mentor? Like this is display link. It doesn't matter what it is. I like to just keep my, you know, my website. So you see how now it's going to change. It's going to be bisharjkadu.com, right? It doesn't matter what you put here. It doesn't have to be the actual uh, link. Now headline. What do you want the headline? So this right here, do you see where it says free case study? My headline is, I don't think I can copy this. I can't copy how Zach now earns 130000 a month, uh, nine months after launching his business. So how Zach now earns 130k plus per month, nine months after launching his FBA biz, right? So you're going to see how it's going to show right here, right? And then there is this. Now, this doesn't always show. This is the description like that shows right below here. So, he, Zach, didn't know what FBA even stood for. Right? So, this is right here. So, you see how it's going to show here? Now, in, in phone, it won't probably won't show. In mobile, it won't show. See, like, it doesn't even show all of it. You know, and then you've got different, and then like desktop right column. Mine is not going to show because I'm not even advertising there, right? So, um, so this is, and once again, this is it. Like literally, this is it. Now you've got the call to action, which is this. You know, like if you're doing e-commerce, you're probably going to do like, uh, like uh, uh, shop. I think there is shop now or something like that. 
Let me see here. Uh, okay, shop now. Uh, request time, subscribe, watch more, apply now, whatever. If you're doing something like me, learn more is the best. Um, and then I think there was like um, where you can actually take out the, the call to action button or something like that, but I'm not, I don't even know where that is. Aside from that, that's it. You got to make sure that your pixel is right, you know, everything else is right. Once again, I'll talk about all that in a different video. Um, but this is this video is simply just to show you guys exactly how to simply create your first ad inside of your ads manager. And it's simply this, like, it's literally this simple. I can literally create another ad with, with just like this, you know? Um, and that's it. And then you hit publish. And now what's going to happen is that this ad is going to be submitted for review. Typically, it'll take, like, I don't know, between 5 minutes to 45 minutes. It might take longer, but it shouldn't. Um, then you'll get if it's been approved or disapproved. So, like, we're going to go back. So, if you go to campaign, we've got this right. Do you see how now it says in review? Before it said not delivered. Now it says in review because there's actually something under it. Then there's that and there's this, right? So, now we actually have this. Now, in case if you do get an ad that's going to say, um, what is it going to say? It would say not approved. It's going to be red and not approved. All you got to do is just click here on the actual ad and then go to edit, right? I'm not going to have that option now. And then right here at the top, it's going to say request review in red. It's going to be all red. It's going to say request review. All you got to do is just click on that. Don't freak out if you get your ad uh, uh, rejected or whatever or disapproved. Just click on where it's going to say request review. And then okay, okay. That's it. Don't do anything. Just say okay, and then send now or okay, something like that. Just like I think the next op, like the next thing is gonna be a pop up here, and I think it's gonna say in the send now or okay or something. Just send now, okay, or whatever the two options are. That's it. It's literally that simple. And then it may take you know a couple hours or whatever for them to um, uh, typically, unless your 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 ad really you know has um, like you're talking about how to make money. And uh, they hate like MLM things and whatnot. Um, you should get approved right away. You know, all the ads that I've ran, I've never, you know, had an issue. See, so, like if I go to all of my campaigns and I go to all of my ads, I've got, I don't even know how many ads running right now. I have 81 ads running right now. You see how they're all active? I don't have any that have been disapproved or whatever. And a lot of those actually did get disapproved when I first started, but, um, you know, I, um, uh, the, you know, it didn't actually, or, or you know, they actually all work because I got them all approved. So once again, it's literally this simple to create your um, your ad on Amazon. I mean, on Amazon, on Facebook. Um, you know, it's it. You first got to create the shell, then you got to create the ad set, and then you got to create the ad. It's literally that simple. Um, hope you guys found this video helpful. Um, and and um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. As mentioned earlier, if you guys did find value in this video, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Also give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the questions below what more about Facebook ads would you guys like to learn. If there's anything in particular you guys want me to go into, I am going to have a series of Facebook ads training going on in my channel where I break down you know, every single aspect of Facebook ads. This was more of a generalized video about how a simple Facebook ad is created and for you or to help you to create your first Facebook ad inside of your uh, business manager. So once again, guys, Bashar Ketu here, Amazon a seller from beautiful San Diego. Drop your questions in the questions section below. Give this video a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to my channel if it is your first time. I will see you in the next video. Have a great day and take care.